Hello everybody and welcome to my second series with basically just me composing. So today um, we're going to start a new track and it's going to be an explore track instead of a, a battle track. So I, the explore tracks I've written, I do feel like there's a lot I've learned about my process and I think some things that could help my composing for slower tracks and that's that I think I need to write a bit more of it you know on pencil and paper and composition or sorry compose the harmony melody and form before I get too into orchestration and stuff um, I think the kind of intermittent orchestration composition for battle tracks works because I'm following a flow of the feeling more so and while that's true for explore music it's not quite as fast paced it's different it, there's just something different about it where when I just let my intuitions go it doesn't quite turn out as well if I'm getting all all over the place I, so I need to make sure there's a solid form harmony melody everything like that so this episode I want to try to get those basics um, as far as this track I want to do something that's uh, basically going to fit the role of a relaxing-ish explore track that captures a biome. Um, so today I want to go for something that's uh, like a plains, you know, like a flat savanna land, uh, kind of an open expanse of explorable area. That's something I don't quite have for this project yet. So like I usually do, I want to get started. Let's go over here on Google and let's find an image for inspiration. So let's say fantasy um, planes. How about that? And then let's just go through these Google images and kind of figure out one that we find inspirational. These all already look really cool. Um, hmm. So am I recording? Yep. Cool. All right. That's like what I was imagining, almost like a American West style. Big, you can see the scale here, you know, where there's, a, a, you can see the high clouds, you know, soaring up into the air. It's real, maybe a little too impressionistic. A little too magical. Just take Skyrim. Um, let's see. I definitely was thinking like Skyrim type. Oh, that was nice. I really like that. So let's down. Let's uh, open that in a new tab. I'm sorry. Yeah, here we go. Let's let's download that and get it pulled up on preview. And I'll just open the image and. Save that to the desktop as new or no uh, fantasy score planes one cool I like that it gives me reminds me of this thing and um I'll figure out who here's the guy who made it person who made it um it gives me kind of a there was a show I used to watch back in the early 2000s called Red Wall, based on the books. Reminds me of when one of the places Slagar the Slaver was taking these, you know, mice and stuff to go. Um, I like that. Cool. So let's open that. What I like to do. Oh, there's our old one. That's for Branches and Bones, the other live stream I'm doing. Let's get this guy out of here, if I can figure that out. Um, let's figure out how to use Finder or this thing. All right, escape. I remember this problem happening before where I couldn't get out of full screen. All right, let's try this again. And fantasy planes. Cool, all right make this full screen 
and let's pull up a piano and get started. So, let's see, we got that here. Grandeur. This is like literally the only um, sample I have in here, uh, these pianos, that is not orchestral tools, I think. Um, so let's go get on with finding some motifs. I'm gonna grab my staff paper here. See if we have any fresh pages. There's only three bars on this page. Let's let's get this. All right. So I wish I had a camera here. I could um, show what I'm doing, but I'm just going to divide it up to four measures and a bar, and start to get some harmony down. And then we can reference other melodies I've done for this project that we can incorporate. Try to keep some cohesive uh, melodic or um, any type of musical language that can help make it more cohesive. So let's pull this up and just kind of meander around the piano till we find something. And before I even hit any keys on the piano, I want to see if I can come up with anything, just a, anything in my head, like a, a, a key that I feel like this, this is in. recording this just in case something I like. All right, let's get rid of the metronome. Cool, we'll just go. Why did I think F7 resolved down to C minor? That, that's a, obviously not.
cool. So I'm not good at piano, so obviously there's nothing too fancy there. Um, I feel like that's okay. We'll just keep uh, keep jamming around. I think that was all right. Again, I like to take, like I did on my other stream, I like to take just some of the earliest stuff I come up with and then just use that as kind of the, um, was it constrained creativity of, of forming the rest of the piece. So I do like that, that harmonic structure if we're starting on like a D flat five. <laughs> You know where we don't have a third where the harmonies harmony's pretty pretty open. That's not, you know, um, super unique, but that could just kinda of be a one of those motifs that goes through the whole thing, you know, and then we go up to the F. Or no, it was still on the we, when we decide to show that it's major, when we move away from the, just the D5 and bring in the, or it's the D flat five and bring in the F and we show that it's a major chord, we also add the major seven. I'm fine with a key. So let's just start with a D, D flat five. One, two, very slow. Three, four. Cool, so what we can do now is just get that started and it's still recording. And let's think about, with a D5, some of the melodies that I've come up with and how we can incorporate those into this. So one of the ones was obviously a different key in B minor. That's kind of the main like heroic theme. There was... Um, Good start with. Yeah, that'll that'll fit. Let's record a little bit more. Take the count off in or out. Count off out. So now just got some basic groundwork here, just some you know, tempo, uh, kind of the form is going to be pretty repetitive. Um, what we're trying to do here is just create really an atmosphere, the kind of stuff that you would hear a lot in in Skyrim or, or any other type of RPG, where the music's function is really to fill in space and add to the environment and help you feel more immersed. So there's we don't necessarily need to have some, you know, strict A, B, A form, anything like that. Um, I do want to have more form fleshed out here. Um, where is I going with that? Oh, but a lot of it is going to come from the arrangement and from the evolution of the sound over time. Um, that's something that's evolved a little bit more in modern music especially in, in things like minimalism, where they, they use the smallest number of ideas 
Um, obviously, this is one way, right? Uh, use a small number of ideas and just slowly evolve them over time. There's, you know, there's uh, John Adams does that a lot with his music. That's a, a thing Hans Zimmer does a lot, where there there might be a singular theme that just progresses and builds in intensity over the course of five, ten minutes. Um, so that's a pretty standard thing. But I'd like to try to at some point in here when we start to orchestrate, try to get a little bit more. Um, Use this as an opportunity for me to learn and practice orchestrating music that is less complex and figuring out how to maintain interest in it through the orchestration. Uh, so yeah, it'll kind of force me to focus on my weaknesses. Cool. So let's get some tempo going and let's just start. What I do here is usually take that, all the piano stuff I recorded. I will remember it for now, but I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to put it back over here, me measured 500 something, um, and then let's zoom in here, find a te the tempo we we're looking at. All right, all right, zoomed out way too much, and obviously it's not going to be 140. Was it like 75 something like that? A little too fast. Yeah, it's a little fast. I'm th I think I was probably feeling it right around sixty. So that's a tempo, we're at 60 BPM. Let's start writing some notes. All right, so we've got um, planes. What would we call this? Let's think of a name for this scene. Um, I think in words like sky, um, it's hard to come up with names that aren't super corny and like overused. You think about the word horizon, like how many times has that been used in an RPG title, you know, multiple times in the same soundtrack. I know that. Um, let's see. I like using action words in my titles too, something like across, um, um, let's see, something implying movement like saying like across the plains, right, across the, um, what's a good word for, uh, you know, brush, like short grass. I feel like there would be animals out here. Um, I don't know, we'll figure out the name later. I'll just call it the plains for now. The plains. Cool. Um, all right, so adjectives to describe this. Uh, I would say open. clear cool this landscape doesn't strike me as particularly warm or cold just kind of a 65 let's say 60 60 degrees 
Fahrenheit, that is, not Celsius. Um, I'd say purposeful. And rising. So open, clear, cool, purposeful, rising. Let's kind of use those as our linguistic base. And here's our visual base. And these help me to kind of create a, a distinct mood so let's try to keep those in mind as we go through this. So let's get started. that up. Um, cool. So let's take that out. Uh, that was too long on the intro, I think. Probably only two bars. Yeah. Cool. So let's delete these. Do a quick quantize. We're still at three bars here. So we gotta make sure the pedal is in there, sustain. Let's go and add that uh, melody. That's wrong in there. Let's just clean it up. Bye. 
Let's see, cool. So I don't know if that B flat. So this is almost like a minute of music here, right? Obviously slow, not much happening. It's going to require a lot of in interesting arrangement and uh, counter lines and stuff to make this interesting. So there's just a quick little break. flat major seven. Let's see if we can play it. <laughs> so I was trying to play that with two hands, so it turned out not that was good. See how that quantizes.
Let's try to come up with something a little more interesting after this. And we could do a, a Gotta go back to D. Cool. That's it. That works. That was a mistake, but. Still got the openness. Get a little bit more of the. Uh... So we can go. got the kind of the uh got kind of the the uh dominant sharp four sound going. sound in my head. Cool. Cool. Let's add some more stuff in here. stuff up there. We can just have something going up there, just slow, slow, um, back and forth. Clean that up because we can. Do 
so we've got groups of three and groups of two. We got groups of two going. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we can probably keep stacking that. Sorry, I've messed that up. Here we go. Messed up the first two. Let's get those two. Now let's quantize that. All right. That's probably good for now. We can keep uh, adding to that over time. All right, cool. So we've got from 27 seconds to 139. That's enough to get started, I think. Um, let's just get a little bit more of a, a melody in there. Put the melody, just bring it down here to let's bring in that um, flat seven here. Let's put an octave down just so you can. save this too. All right, save. Let's name it. All right, current projects. Let's do, we haven't come up with a name yet. Do we have anything else? Oh, what's that called? How about Wolfstone? It's like the wolf tree, you know, in the, in the middle. Wolfstone. Stones. Wolfstone. Cool. You know, the, the tree is in the middle of a plain when there's just a, a, lo a lonely tree in the middle of a field. It's called a wolf tree. It's called a wolf stone because that's kind of what these guys are. Except they're not alone. Oh, what's that called when there's a... Oh. There's a name for that. Crop of trees. Is that it? Oh, I'll figure it out. Write a note. So what time are we at? 40 minutes, cool. So that's good for a little base of a track. Um, I wanna try to start filling this out now, you know, with arrangement. Um, 
because I do want to see if this is viable, right? There's there's cert sometimes these pieces, these explore ones that I feel like don't quite end up how I want them to. Um, you know, they get kind of boring. So I want to start to arrange this and orchestrate it and see if that has any merit or whether I should scrap it and just start over because that's usually the best thing for me. Um, cool. So let's get started. Where's our English horn? set up yeah hmm. what's going on here all right so let's figure this out we got flutes are working our oboes clarinets so what's going on with the oboes? What's going on with you guys? Um... Not getting any signal. Oh, there we go. What was that? It's gone again. Turn that off and back on. Earth to oboes. What's going on? Um, let me pause the recording for a sec so I can figure this out. Cool, and we're back. Um, I don't even know, I couldn't figure it out. I just closed Logic and opened it and it worked again. So now we can have our English horn. Let's try to remember what we were doing. Just have the English one do that. So let's actually have the English one move to the melody there. Here, let's take that. Command T, split. All right, now let's. Come back in right there. 
right there. So let's start here. Do something different there. Let's just have the clarinet come in there. Just that one part. Let's have the oboe come back in for the Actually, alto flute. Horn and alto flute, maybe. So instead of that, with an A in there, I'd rather do what I just did with the horns there. So we'll follow that instead. Cool. We'll figure that out. Um, cool. Let's get this a little bit more fleshed out. Let's 
at that kind of ostinato. cheesy when we get right there. I'll probably go in and edit that. Cool. I think that going the te do do there. Now let's have the bassoons come in here. One, two, three, four, one. Here, let's do it better. Let's try doing like alternating patterns on the strings up here. And then on the seconds, we'll go. So instead of that, we'll go. I think that could turn out cool if we make it sound, you know, mock it up well. Let's have some more kind of moving lines in there. Let's have a uh,
kind of hearing him on the A flat on the fifth, the cello. creating that open fifth texture that I was looking for. fifth there. Get some classic like just you know brass chords in there too some double those let's double that like fifth in there with the trombones oh that's way too early um Why am I not hearing the... Oh, it's because of the breath controller.
All right. keep feeling like that F part comes in like too early, like a one measure too early. should add a tam tam in there at some point but wrong key switch there, obviously. Whoops. Wire set up? I don't think so. Gotta turn that on. Let's see. Well, 
it just adds a little bit more um, a little bit more stuff in there you know a little bit more sound Let's take the piano off and let's see how it's sounding with the music. Sorry, with the picture. All right, so something I immediately noticed the timpani there feels too fast. feeling more like a pulse. Boom, boom. Obviously that's like boring but doesn't not everything needs to be interesting let's just copy and paste this and let's do that for a few times let's see how that sounds if that fixes that problem we had where the um oops Same here, because I'm really just looking for kind of a sterile. That's just definitely gotta be where everything switches. So command T, cancel, let's see.
So let's delete that, this, and let's bring all this a measure forward so we can go where it feels like it should be. that da, da, da. can just go um. the second we gotta go I feel like I'm in like the Sims So I, I like that section. I like the harmony change there. So what do we have there? That's what we got for now. Let's call it quits for now. Um, let's listen to it one time through with the with the picture, and we'll uh, wrap up. And I'll see you next time. slower build.
thinking woodwind runs in that section there where the harmony changes and we can start to ramp up the the intensity a little bit and get um right there let's use those woodwind runs that we're talking about to bring in uh a more kind of trotting rhythm where we where we have more um like movement forward like we're going forward into the scene um cool so that's what we've got for now and thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye